Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving some problems having to do with conversion from fractions to decimals. From fractions to decimals and then we'll do from decimals to fractions. We are on page number 23. Page number 23. There are three examples there. Example number one is a very straightforward, very simple question. The very first one is asking us to convert three quarters into decimal. As I said, it's very simple, very straightforward, but they're going to get a little bit more complicated as we go on further. If you're interested in having some more practice, a little, bit, a little bit more challenging problems, here are some videos that you can watch in the series of basic math from day number 51 through 65. From day number 51 through 65, we did problems having to do with conversion of fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions, decimals to fra percentages, and so on and so forth. Problems dealing with decimals, fractions, and percentages. And they're all there from 51 through 65. From 51 through 65. Let's get going, shall we? Well, we know, we know one quarter. How much is one quarter? Of course we know it. This is too silly. One quarter is 25%. 25% or 0.25. 0.25. Three quarters is going to be three times as much. Three quarters is going to be three times as much. Three times this amount or three times that amount. 0.25 times three is just 75% or 0.75. This is, as I said, too silly. But it's there, so we have to do it. Number two, five, 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 eight. So that was number one, five, eight. You must know your eighths, you must know your quarters, you must know your tenths, you must know your fifths, you must know your thirds. These are essential uh, bits of information that you have to have at your fingertips. You must know how to convert your fifths, your eighths, from percent, uh, from decimal, uh, from fractions to decimals to percentages and, and back and forth. Do you understand? This one is dealing with the eighth, five eight. Now five eight. Actually, before I forget it, let me tell you the videos where you can uh, learn our uh, eighths. We learn our eighths on day number thirty-two. Just type in, just type in basic math, basic math. Day 32, the video will pop right up where we will learn our eighth. We have five fifths. What we have to understand here is that five fifths is nothing more than five fifth. Five fifth is nothing more than, or rather, not five fifths. What the hell? Five eighth. Five eighth is nothing more than four eighth plus another eighth. Four eighth plus another eighth. Four eighth. If you look at it here, 4 8 is simply 1 over 2. If you divide top and bottom by 4, 4 8 is 1 over 2, which is 50%. That's the easy part. Now, if you can figure out what 1 8 is in percentage, we are home free. Then we can simply add 50% to this amount and we'll be home free. Let's take a look at 1 8. 1 8, what we need to understand is, is nothing more than the half of a quarter. Half of 1 fourth. Half of one fourth is one eighth. One times one is one, and two times four is eight. As you can see, if you multiply a half and a quarter, you get one eighth. We know quarter is twenty-five percent. So an eighth, an eighth would simply have to be half of twenty-five percent. Half of because this is twenty-five percent. Half of twenty-five percent is twelve and a half percent. There you go. So we have fifty percent, which is this amount, and another twelve and a half percent will give us five eighth. Because 4 8 is 50%, 1 8 we just found out, 1 8 is half of a quarter, a quarter is 25%, therefore half of 25% is 12.5%. So that's what it is. We simply have to, this amount are simply going to add up to 50% plus 12.5%. 50 plus 10 is 60, 60 plus 2 is 62, is 62 62.5%, 62 62.5%, or if you like. Or if you like, if you want to write it in decimal, which is what which is what they're asking us to do, 62.5% in decimal is simply going to be 0 0.625. 0 0.625, that's 62.5%. That was number that was number two, not number five.
Let's move on to number three. But you have to know your aids. Uh, you have to know your aids, and it's very simple. There is nothing much there uh, to worry about. If you know your quarters, you know your aids because aids are derived from the quarters. If you know the quarters, you know the aid. Uh, quarter is twenty-five percent. If quarter is twenty-five percent, and if you're able to understand, if you're able to understand that eight is nothing more than half of a quarter. Well, if it's half of a quarter and quarter is twenty-five percent, eight must be half of twenty-five percent. Half of twenty-four, half of twenty-four would have been twelve exactly. Therefore, half of twenty-five is twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, twelve and a half percent, written in terms of decimal, will simply be point one two five. Point one two five. And the fifty percent was point five. Fifty percent was point five. So we added point five to it, which is simply we have to add two more zeros to it so that we line up our our digits, and it ends up with what we just found, which is five two six. Yeah, decimal. There you go. Point. Point six two five, which is exactly we have six two five, sixty two and a half percent. Five eight is sixty two and a half percent. Let's move on. Number three. Number three is asking us for two and three fifth. Two and three fifth. What can we do about it? Two and three fifth. Again, we have to know your fifths. You must know your fifths because otherwise we are in trouble. Fifths are also very straightforward, very simple. When did we learn the fifths? I'm going to give you the day where you can learn, where you can watch the video dealing with fifths. We learn our fifths on day number thirty-one. As you know, day number thirty-one. Fifths are very straightforward. You have to understand that one fifth. If you have to figure out what what one fifth is in decimal, don't leave it as one fifth. Just multiply top and bottom by two. If we multiply top and bottom by the same amount, we are essentially multiplying this figure by one because two over two is one. And now you can clearly see that one times two is two, and five times two is ten. And once we get in this form, two over ten, most people have no trouble seeing that two over ten is just point two. It's just point two. Therefore, one fifth is point two, which happens to be same as twenty percent. Once you know your one fifth, the rest is very easy. If one fifth is twenty percent. Two fifth would have to be forty percent because you multiply top and bottom by two again, you get four over ten, and that's forty percent, or point four. Three fifth, three fifth would have to be sixty percent. If one fifth, if one fifth is twenty percent, two fifth is forty percent. Three fifth would have, have to be sixty percent because it's just, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just six over ten. Sixty percent or point six. Here we have three fifth. That's exactly what we have here. Three fifth would have to be sixty percent, which, when written in decimal, is point six. Since they are asking us to convert this into decimal, it's just two and three fifth, which is simply two point six, because three fifth is point six, as we just saw here. That was number. That was number. That was number four actually. I think I skipped three. Yeah, I skipped three, which has to do with this was number four. Let's look at number three, which has to do with thirds. You have to know your thirds. Number three is asking us to convert two thirds into decimal. Two thirds. We know one third. We know one third is thirty-three and one third percent, or thirty-three. Point three three repeating. It doesn't end. Thirty three point three 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 doesn't end. Or if you want a precise figure, it's thirty three and one third percent. If one third is thirty three and one third percent, that stands to reason that if one third is thirty three and one third percent, then two thirds, two thirds, which is twice the amount, would have to be two times this amount. Two times thirty three. Two times thirty three is sixty six. And two two times third, two thirds are just exactly that. Two third, two third percent, sixty six and two third percent, or point six six six. This goes on forever. It never ends. That was the that was the, that were the four examples right now. The next what we have is are the sample problems. Uh, there there are ten of them there, which I'm not going to start right now. We'll do them tomorrow. Okay. I don't want video to be too long. Bye now.